Good afternoon, everyone. Lisa Hughes here at WBZ with some breaking news. We have just learned that the sexual assault case against actor Kevin Spacey has been dismissed. This was a case that stemmed from a 2016 incident in Nantucket at the Club Car Restaurant. I want to bring in our chief investigator right now, Cheryl Fiandaka. We were just here talking about this mm -hmm. uh, because the accuser took the stand a little more than a week ago and was talking about the missing cell phone, the one key piece of evidence in this case uh, that no one could find, uh, and then the accuser himself pled the fifth in the hearing, which seemed to doom this case. Your reaction to what we're knowing today, we're learning today. Oh, absolutely, and that's what the Commonwealth says. That's what the district attorney came out and said that he has to dismiss this case because the complaining witness is unavailable, which basically means because he took the Fifth Amendment at a previous hearing about the cell phone, he's now not able to testify in a subsequent hearing about the alleged sex assault, which means you really have no evidence in the case at all. So there's no way that the Commonwealth could go forward. Now, Kevin Spacey wasn't in the last hearing, but he has appeared in court. Uh, his lawyer very aggressively and understandably on behalf of his client went after all three of the family members, the accuser, his mother, former news anchor Heather Unruh, and her husband about the missing cell phone. And one of the key components of the testimony in the hearing was that Unruh admitted that before she turned the phone over to a state police trooper, she had deleted some of the tweets. She insisted those tweets did not pertain to the 2016 incident in which she says uh, Spacey took liberties with her son and plied him with alcohol. But the district attorney, it seemed very successfully, said, you're not the one who gets to make that decision. You don't decide what evidence is admissible. Right. That's what the defense said. The defense said, you don't get to decide what evidence is, is, um, is, is admissible in this case. And basically, she says that she was very forthcoming with the police. She said, I, I deleted some messages and some information on the phone that I thought to, had nothing to do with this case. It turns out that that is a big problem when you are tampering with evidence. And this is the only physical evidence that the prosecutor has a phone with some alleged messages that he may have been exchanging with friends maybe some snapchat or some video photographs that may have been in that phone and some other evidence that the defense says points to um, his credibility and some of the issues that they wanted to raise a trial so doing that really was a very uh, bad sign for the prosecution being able to go forward and if you couple that with your only witness who says that he who alleges that he was sexually assaulted says that he is not not willing to testify in a court proceeding about a missing phone and messages on that phone, it's impossible to go forward. All right. So Cheryl Fiandaka will have much more tonight on WBZ News at 5. But again, if you're just joining us, the sexual assault charges against Kevin Spacey have been dismissed.